in today's video we will discuss about de Broglie's equation so let us see de Broglie's equation generally this de Broglie's equation it uh, it relates particle nature and wave nature of matter because according to de Broglie when a matter particle moves with a very high velocity it behaves like a wave or it shows wave nature so we can in other words we can say that a matter particle it shows both the nature particle nature as well as, well as uh, the wave nature okay so how he related wave nature with particle nature let, let us see that first equation that he has taken that equation is Einstein's equation right this one E is equal to mc square then he took another equation this is E equals to h nu so these two equations we already know ok now if you relate if you equate these two equation we can write m c square is equal to h nu so h nu equals to m c square ok then we have this formula c equals to lambda nu so from this nu equals to c by lambda so in place of nu we can substitute c by lambda ok then h c by lambda becomes m c square so from here the c is 1 c and 1 c will get cancelled so we are getting here h by lambda equals to m c or from this lambda equals to h by m c now m is what it is the mass of that particular particle c is actually it is the velocity of light but we are discussing about the particle so here we have to take the velocity of the particle not the velocity of light so that is why c is replaced by v which is called matter ok now this h will remain as it is but in place of mv it is mass into velocity means it is momentum c so finally we are getting the equation al, uh, this one uh, lambda is equals to h by t this is de Broglie's equation and here in this equation you can see that the wave nature and particle nature both are related how because lambda is the wavelength and wavelength is related to what wave nature t t means momentum momentum is related to what particle nature because momentum means mass into velocity mass is related to particle so that is why this equation is relating wave nature with particle nature ok now we can modify we can modify this de Broglie's equation in different ways one way is this one uh, there is a formula in class 11 you may have got this formula that P is equal to root over 2 E m P means momentum root over 2 E E means kinetic energy m means mass so P can be replaced by this ok and if we do so this equation becomes like this in place of this P I have written root over 2 E m alright now this E is kinetic energy so this is one equation again we can replace this E by E V what is E V? Spatially, spatially here I have written E, E means it is the charge of electron okay, or charge of proton. So, suppose if E equals to E V and V means what it is the potential, in place of capital E we can substitute E into V. So, small e we are writing for electron or proton but for other particle in place of small e what we will write? We will write only Q means charge of that particular particle alright ok because how it came you know this one that E means it is a kinetic energy or work done suppose and we know work done means what it is Q into V this formula you got in uh, chapter 2 probably W equals to QV so Q means charge here I am considering electron or proton so that is why E and V is the potential which is V right so this is, an, this is also ok just a second ok so uh, this is another equation right this one then again if specifically we take electron then certain things will be constant say for example E is a constant M is a constant E is the charge of electron M is the mass of electron H is another constant Planck's constant so if we substitute all these three values 
we will get a constant number and that number uh, comes as 12.27 angstrom 12.27 angstrom okay and apart from this known terms only one unknown term will be there that is capital V so here we will write root over V so this is another formula for lambda for wavelength and remember that this formula we have written only for electron because here we have considered mass of electron mass of electron and charge of electron okay this formula is not applicable for other for other particles for other particles we have this formula we have this formula we have this formula but there this e you have to replace by q for other particles okay and this formula is specifically only for electron all right so in next video we will discuss about some sums related to this formula thank you